Hello everybody. We are back in Illustrator. Today's tutorial is about using the type tool. So the type tool is what we use for words. The type tool is on the toolbar over here, which is the uppercase T. Or we can just use a shortcut on the keyboard just by clicking T. And you can see that my arrow changed to a um, cursor. So that tells us we're on the typing, the type tool. So I'm going to put my name on my um, logo here. You can see when I click there, it changes to a blinking cursor, meaning anything I type is going to now um, be on my screen. Um, along the top is my character bar. Characters are each letter or number is called a character. So this color gives us um, our fill color and this one gives us our outline color. So if I wanted to make a, a pink letter with a blue outline that's and you can see on the outline you can it's not a full solid square it's just the outline of a square so I could come back and click here and put um, CCIA and it's kind of hard to see because of the font I have so let's kind of highlight this and change the font to so here you can see there's a pink is the fill color and the blue is the stroke color. The stroke is like the outline color. The next um, thing on our toolbar is the stroke weight. This is basically telling us how thick the line is going to be around our lettering. So it has to be highlighted or unless you, you can either choose to have this first or if you've already typed out the word you want, you then have to make sure it's all highlighted, otherwise it's not going to change. Like if I just start clicking here, it's not doing anything. I have to highlight it. And then you can see that my stroke line has gotten thicker because um, that's what this weight is doing. So I'm going to put it back down to 2. Um, and in this option, some fonts, not all, you can change, like this one you can't change. Um, you can change, like this is all a uniform width all the way around the stroke. So like um, it's, um, you know, as wide here as it is over here. Some of the fonts you can change it. So this is something to play with it once you, you start using your own fonts. And then the fun stuff, the character is over here. This is the font. So I'm in this font, my own Topher. I have lots and lots of fonts. I love playing with fonts. Um, you may not have as many as me, which is fine. If you don't have as many as me, one way to get more is if I do my drop down, there's this button up here that says Add Fonts from Type Kit. So go ahead and click on Add Fonts from Type Kit now and it's going to take you to an Adobe web page called Typekit. These, all of these fonts are available to us and um, we can scroll through. Look at it, it says viewing 16 of 459 fonts families. So that's how many fonts we have available to us. So you can click on load more and it's going to load the next 16. Or if you know you're looking for something, um, there th these are the filters over here. So if you know you're looking for something that looks like handwriting, you click this, and then only the fonts that look like handwriting are going to come up. So I kind of like this one, Graphite Standard. So I'm going to click on this. So if you would like to download some fonts, you can pause it and do it now. This gives us some uh, examples of what the font would look like um, in regular and in bold. 
And then if I want to use this, I'm going to click on Use Fonts. So you can click as many as um, you want if you want to add the regular, bold, light. I'm just going to do the regular. And Sync Selected Fonts. And because we have, here we go, my little pop-up, the font graphite was added. So that's good. Okay, so, you know, don't spend too much time on this, but this is definitely something fun that um, you can look through. So then we can go back to the fonts. I just clicked on fonts up here. You can click the back button. And you can go through and pack out a couple fun ones, a couple serious ones, in addition to the ones that... But, um, Illustrator already gives us. So I'm going to scroll back to Illustrator. There we go. So it's character. Um, and then regular. This only has a regular font. Some of them have a, a bold. This font size, it comes with some pre-chosen um, font sizes. But if I want to go up a few, like that's not quite big enough. Or if I want to jump up to a bigger one. Um, I can always change this manually. And then we have a line left, a line center, a line right. Okay, so I'm going to click on our selection tool. And I'm going to move this kind of more into the center. And when I click just on the, the, the type that I just did, notice I have a lot of the same options up here so I can change it. But I also get this one. This is kind of a warped. I'm going to click on it. This is a way that we can kind of use some um, fun shapes to create our names. So we can just play with this. I like the wave. And then we can change how much bend we see. We can change the distortion. Horizontal is, is like the left to right distortion. Vertical is the up and down distortion. Always make sure preview is checked. Otherwise, we're going to be changing these and you can't see what it's doing. That is not helpful. So make sure preview is checked. Okay, that looks good to me. So this is how we use the type tool. If we were to type something else back here, You can see um, it uses the last font family I, cho I chose, and um, we would start over. So there you go. Have fun using the type tool.